all heaven declares oh beauty of the wings of the Lord all heaven declares the beauty of the Lord oh, forever you will be the Lamb upon the throne, I will gladly bow my knees, and I worship you alone. That's a beautiful song. It's an old school song. All heaven declares, oh. I like that background right there. The beauty of the risen Lord. Who can compare to the beauty of the Lord? Forever you will be. The Lamb upon, upon the throne, oh. I see y'all saying you love my hair. I did my hair myself. <laughs> I will gladly bow my knees, oh. And I'll worship you alone. Yes, forever you will be. Oh, the Lamb upon the throne. I will gladly bow my knees. Hey, I see you. Dr. Mike Murdoch's sister, nice to see you, nice to see you, God bless you. Love you much. And thank you for all that you do for Dr. Mike Murdoch. We love you. And we'll worship you alone. I believe your name is Flo, awesome prophetic name, Flo. <laughs> all heaven declares the beauty of the risen Lord Who can compare To the beauty of the Lord Forever you Will be The Lamb upon the throne We will gladly bow our knees and I'll worship you alone I love sitting at your feet I love hearing what you say it's Dr. Mike Murdoch's song I love knowing all your desires. I'm so pleasured to obey. Your favor's like a sunrise. Oh, driving all my nights away. I love sitting at your feet. It's Dr. Mike Murdoch's song. Every single day. Oh, I love sitting <laughs> at your feet. Every single day. Go day I love sitting at your feet I love 
hearing what you say. I love knowing your desire. I'm so pleasured to obey. Your favor's like a sunrise. Oh, driving all my nights away. <laughs> I love sitting at your feet. What a powerful song. Holy Spirit gave Dr. Mary Murdoch that song. Every single day. Ooh, ooh. I love sitting at your feet. Every single day. Oh. All oh, heaven declares. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> the beauty of the risen Lord. Who can compare to the beauty of the Lord? Forever you will be, oh, this lamb upon the throne, oh yes, yes, and I will gladly bow my knees, and I worship you alone. Singing, I, I love you, Lord. Oh, yes, yes. Singing, I, I love, I love you, Lord. Singing, I, I love Oh, you, Lord. Oh, I, I love you, Lord. Singing, I, I love you. Yes, yes, singing I, I love you, Lord. Oh, singing I, I love, oh yes, you. Singing, I, I love you, Lord. Singing, I, I love all you, you, Lord. Oh, yes. I, I love you, Lord, singing, I, I love you, Lord, I love sitting at your feet. Oh, yes, yes, I love hearing what you say. 
Oh, I love knowing your desires. Oh, yes, I'm so pleasure to obey. Oh, your favor's like a sunrise. Oh, yes, driving all, all my nights away. I love sitting at your feet every single day oh i love sitting <laughs> at your feet every single day oh Holy Spirit, I love sitting at your feet every single day. Oh, we praise you, Father. Oh, we praise you, Father. Spirit of the living God Oh Fall afresh On me Oh Spirit Of The living God Oh, fall afresh on me, melt me, <laughs> use me, fill me, oh, spirit, spirit. Of the living God, oh, fall afresh, fall afresh, fall afresh on me. I sing. Praises to your name. Oh Lord, I sing praises to your name. Oh Lord, <laughs> hey saints, the glory of God is amazing. Jesus, we exalt you. Thank you for everything. You don't have to have much. But if you thank God, it will seem like you got much. Oh, Lord, for your name is great and greatly too. Be praised. I sing praises to your name. Oh Lord, I sing praises to your name. Mm. Oh Lord, for your name is great and greatly oh I carry the presence of God Zebrasta Father oh Lord oh 
Your name is great and greatly to be praised. Oh, yes. Praises to your name, oh, oh Lord. Praises to your name, oh Lord. For your name is great and greatly to be praised, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. I sing praises, praises to your name, oh Lord, for your name. Everyone has a spiritual chariot. But you have to access it by pursuing God for it. Because why? There's an angel that is authorized to move you into this spiritual chariot. So the Holy Spirit, this is what he does. He gives you a hunger for the supernatural. But you have to be careful. Because your hunger could connect you to a wrong feeder and a wrong leader. The hunger for the supernatural requires wisdom because in the midst of your desperation, uh, you may get connected to someone that is not uh, worthy according to God to be imparting to you. And so your hunger has to consist of patience and wisdom. Notice that the Bible talked about let her have her perfect work because the angel of patience and the angel of wisdom, they both carry an anointing to get both of you, get you into a place where you receive your inheritance. Let patience have her perfect work that you may be perfect and complete, lacking nothing. Proverbs chapter eight tell you that wisdom will cause you to inherit substance. The spiritual chariot is what Eli Elijah would move in. That's why they couldn't find him. The Bible talked about there was a search that went on for Elijah when he did appear. The glory of God, my God. There's so much glory on him. When Elijah appeared and said, tell the king that I'm here, the servant said, no, I don't want to tell him that you're here because I know that the Lord will take you away. Why? Because Elijah had a spiritual chariot. Your spiritual chariot is the ability where the Holy Spirit can take you from one place to the next supernaturally. You don't even have to travel the normal way. Many times in my sleep, sometimes during the day, God will take me places. It's for me to observe something. It's for me to know something. It's for me to interpret something. God is speaking through the travel because he wants to impart something to you that is needful, maybe for your generation, maybe for your insight. In your sleep, a lot of times, I'll end up in places. I'll see myself in China. I'll be walking in the streets. I'll see people wearing different clothing. I know what state or country I'm in according to their garments because I know when I'm in Africa they wear a certain type of garments when I'm in China they wear a certain type of garments the Bible said that Philip he was translated after he ministered to the eunuch in the book of Acts he was taken from one place to the next Enoch was translated supernaturally Enoch was taken away where? By his spiritual chariot. If you remember in the Bible, it said that when Elijah was about to leave, there was chariots of fire. 
that begin to show up. And the chariots of fire represented that these were angels that have come to accompany Elijah's departure. The spiritual chariot, a prophet has it. When God links you to a prophet, it's to train you, to teach you how to move with your own spiritual chariot. The Bible said that Jesus would be in a place, then all of a sudden, he would disappear. How come they went to go stone Jesus, but every time they went to go stone Jesus, every time they went to stone Jesus, he would disappear. What was going on? He would be in one place one minute. And when they went go stone him, he was in another place. Why did Stephen have such a boldness? When they said they was going to stone him, the Bible said that he looked up into heaven and saw Jesus standing up. Why? The spiritual chariots were there to take him. He was not afraid of death. Why? Because Jesus said that you'll never see death. That's why you shouldn't be afraid to follow what the Holy Spirit tell you to do because it will never lead you into death. It will only lead you into life. The spiritual chariot is such a beautiful thing. I was studying Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 1 so powerful how the spiritual chariot is something that has been given to believers because we were really supposed to be supernatural it was sin that made all these things get blindsided from us oh there's so much more to just being a child of God because God is in his child and when God is in his child, it's not you that live, but it's Christ that liveth in you. It's the supernatural realm where angels, they function. You welcome an atmosphere for angels, they come. The spiritual chariots, Jesus came and restored it back. Yeah, because the Bible said that Jesus stood before them. And all of a sudden, there was two men in white linen. Jesus began to ascend into heaven. Why was Jesus showing this demonstration? Because whatever you see, you can decree and you can be. The reason why Elijah told Elisha, if you want a double portion of my spirit, you must see me. Because you cannot do until you view. Your eyes have to see it before you can decree it, before you can be it. There was something real powerful that Jesus began to say to Mary when she began to touch him. He said, you cannot touch me until I go unto my father. Why? Because Mary was able to touch the body of Jesus before glorification. But now he was glorified. There was a different anointing. This is why God doesn't allow you to hang around certain people. Why? Because you're, you're at another level. And if you're at another level, even if someone isn't a devil, there'll be a devil to your level because they don't have an understanding of it. Your spiritual chariot is a supernatural realm. Supernatural. Jesus wants you to receive everything in your inheritance. Don't hold back and be afraid to be a supernatural person. This is your destiny. The reason why Jesus created all these different avenues of the supernatural was because there was supposed to be a let there be light wherever darkness was. When God kicked Satan out of his throne, his heaven, 
He knew that Satan was going to occupy the earth realm, the prince of the power of the air, the heavenly realm. So he created ways. Remember, Jacob said he saw angels ascending and descending. Why? That was the spiritual chariot. The spiritual chariot. Jacob saw it in the spirit. Why? Because Jacob was a seer. That's why the Bible declared before he was burned, born, Jacob I have loved and Esau I have hated. Oh, Father, in Jesus' name, every single person, let them experience this spiritual chariot. Let them experience it. Holy Spirit, we give you the glory and the honor for another wave of encounters with angels. Oh Lord, we will not see demons in this season. We already saw enough demons. Now the saints will begin to see their angels and move with the army of angels. That they'll begin to move with tens and thousands of angels and will crush the head of the serpent all over again in Jesus' name. I will continue this.